Mendez's goal was crucial on match day one, but the key to Sociedad's UCL return after a 10-year absence has been their uncompromising principles and devotion to their roots. 24-year-old midfielder Martin Zubamendi is one of 15 current first-team players to have progressed from the famed Zubieta Academy. From the moment you're born, you're a Real Sociedad fan. If you see a child wearing a football shirt, it will be a Real Sociedad one. As you grow up here, the club's values are instilled in you. Above all, I'm proud. A lot of us are academy graduates, so that makes it even more special. Representing San Sebastian and Basque culture makes me so proud. Zubamendi joined the Basque club at the age of 12 and has since amassed over 150 appearances in blue and white, following in the footsteps of Xavi Alonso and Antoine Griezmann, two renowned stars to have emerged from their academy. However, a crucial part of their philosophy is their connection to the local region, with a high percentage of La Real Zubieta Academy stars born in Gipithkoa. It's the driving force behind the club. The famous 60-40 first team split that we try to achieve here at Real Sociedad. It's players from the academy that give the club its personality. Imanol is a key part of this team. He has injected new life into the club and the community. I think the people really love him. They see a guy from Gepithkwa in charge of Real Sociedad, and that's an important aspect of this project. I feel lucky to have had Imanol Aguasil as a coach and Jabi Alonso when I was in the reserve team. Zubimendi's trajectory has been startling since his debut in 2019. A calm, collected midfield conductor, the Spanish international has drawn comparisons with Xavi Alonso and Sergio Busquets. Whilst his football intelligence is closely linked to a key activity from his tender years. Chess was very important during my childhood. I enjoyed it a lot. I competed at regional level. Whenever I can, I play a couple of matches. It helped me as I had to keep my concentration. I had to have every piece under control, which I can relate to my football. The other day, we played really well against a great team. And I looked around and I said to myself, wow, these guys were with me five years ago in the reserves. I'm very proud of that. Sometimes we tend to normalize things, but sometimes unexpected or even unimaginable things can happen to your club. If I take the time to reflect, I can really appreciate what it means to play in the Champions League with my boyhood club.